Hi, in this video I'm going to be talking about the Share Variable Engine that runs on LogView. The Share Variable Engine is a great way to actually send values, send values to field, to the data dashboard that's an app that runs on smartphones and tablets. So it's great if you're in, in the field and you want to check values from a supervisor like the one I have here for my aquaponics project. That way you have uh, let's say a gauge and you want to send the value to uh, the data dashboard you just use a share variable so how to set up a share variable is it hard no it's quite simple let me show you guys how here on the project tab already have a share variable engine running that's this guy right here sv but if you don't have it you can always go on project Add to project, new, and then you just select uh, share variable and hit OK. Well, since I already have that uh, that library, I'm just gonna go and right click on it, new uh, variable. Here you can enter the name for that variable let's say knob just going to explain why I want it to be a 16-bit variable to match the one that I have on my code on, on the network I disable buffering hit OK so now I got knob created under my library so here I got a very simple code just to demonstrate. It's a loop. It's running forever because there's a false condition here, so we run forever. And well, let's add a little uh, delay. Actually, programming timing wait. So do not run as fast as possible we gonna create a constant um, this constant let's say 500 milliseconds so this loop will run twice a second which is good enough for our application so right here I got a knob and a gauge and the knob is just sending values to the gauge so you set the values on the knob and they go to the gauge we want to actually uh, publish the values from the knob to a shared variable too so we can access on, that, on the data dashboard here how we do that we just simply drag knob here drag to the loop right now it's at uh, it's not on the write mode, it's actually on the read mode what we want is actually change that right click on it, uh, we go to access mode so write, now we can write values to this share variable so it's a written connect the wires it goes right here there we go, so now all the values are are set in the knob are going to the gauge and the share variable we can hit play code is now running let me demonstrate that by adjusting the knob so we see that the code is actually running perfect so now here on the data dashboard what we can do is actually and this is the first page whatever uh, appears when you first install the data dashboard we can add a new page we want share variable it's kind of hard to read but share variable this guy right here there's no server registered so we add a new server now I gotta enter the IP address for this computer here that's acting as a server One. 
I six eight dot zero dot one two whoops two four and we hit connect so now I can see all the uh, share variables uh, blocks actually libraries like here that I have available so I have to select SV because SV is what's running here so and we are already have knob that's the same variable that's right over here so we select knob well I want this type here but there's chart there's just numbers we want the gauge I'm gonna adjust the minimum and maximum value to match with the gauge here so minimum is at zero alright maximum at a hundred we save that and now we can run so it's already showing the value that's set on the knob if I see actually updates at the same time very simple very efficient way to actually uh, share information to a mobile device that might be on the field where you, you don't have access to a regular computer to actually check on the supervisory on your application all done in seven minutes and this is the base for the supervisory right here now there is not much else to say I, I think we're done for the day thanks for watching if you guys have any questions leave in the comments down below see you guys next time